Fire Station for Jane B. with Love. We came out of the bar because we were out of money, but we had a couple of wine bottles in the room. It was about four in the afternoon and we passed a fire station and she started to go crazy. A fire station. Oh, I just love fire engines. They're so red and all. Let's go in. I followed her on in. Fire engines, she screamed, wobbling her big ass. She was already trying to climb into one, pulling her skirt up to her waist, trying to jackknife up into the seat. Here, here, let me help you, a fireman ran up. Another fireman walked up to me. Our citizens are always welcome, he told me. The other guy was up in the seat with her. You got one of those big things, she asked him. Oh, ha, ha, I mean, one of those big helmets. I've got a big helmet, too, he told her. Oh, ha, <laughs> ha, You, uh, play cards, I asked my fireman. I had 43 cents and nothing but time. Come on in back, he said. Of course we don't gamble, it's against the rules. I understand, I told him. I had run my 43 cents up to a dollar ninety when I saw her going upstairs with her fireman. He's gonna show me their sleeping quarters, she told me. I understand, I told her. When her fireman slid down the pole ten minutes later, I nodded him over. That'll be five dollars. Five dollars for that? Uh, we wouldn't want a scandal, would we? We might both lose our jobs. Of course, I'm not working. He gave me the five. Sit down, you might get it back. What you playing? Blackjack. Gambling's against the law. Anything interesting is, besides, you see any money on the table? He sat down. That made five of us. Uh, how was it, Harry? Somebody asked him. Uh, not bad, not bad. The other guy went on upstairs. They were bad players, really. They didn't bother to memorize the deck. They didn't know whether the high numbers or low numbers were left. And basically, they hit too high, didn't hold low enough. When the other guy came down, he gave me a five. How was it, Marty? Ah, uh, not bad. She's got some... She's got some fine movements. Hit me, I said. Nice clean girl. Uh, I ride it myself. Nobody said anything. Uh, any big fires lately, I asked. Nah, nothing, nothing much. You guys need exercise. Hit me again. A big red-headed kid who'd been shining an engine threw down his rag and went upstairs. When he came down, he threw me a five. When the fourth guy came down, I gave him three fives for a twenty. I don't know how many firemen were in the building or where they were. 
I figured a few had slipped by me, but I was a good sport. It was getting dark outside when the alarm rang. They started running around. Guys came sliding down the pole. Then she came sliding down the pole. She was good with the pole. A real woman. Nothing but guts and ass. Let's go, I told her. She stood there waving goodbye to the firemen, but they didn't seem much interested anymore. Let's go back to the bar, I told her. Ooh, you got money? I found some I didn't know I had. We sat at the end of the bar with whiskey and beer chaser. I sure got a good sleep. Sure, baby. You need your sleep. Look at that sailor looking at me. He must think I'm a... a Nah, he don't think that. Relax, you've got class, real class. Sometimes you might remind me of a... of an opera singer. <laughs> yes, I mean it. You know, one of those prima D's. Your class shows all over you. Drink up. I ordered two more. You know, Daddy, what? Daddy, you're the only man I love. I mean, really love, you know? Sure I know. Sometimes I think I'm a king in spite of myself. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean, something like that. I had to go to the urinal. When I came back, the sailor was sitting in my seat. She had her leg up against his, and he was talking. I walked over and got in a dart game with Harry the Horse and the Corner Newsboy.